welcome back so this time i'm going to show you uh, oils that i use in my wood turning for uh, different uh, reasons uh, different applications and uh, you'll get to see a little test at the end of the video so stick around here are the oils that i use or used in the years over the years uh, so from the hard wax oils to mineral oil uh, to pure oils uh, penetrating oils so this isn't a contest to to see what which is the most durable although we'll do some test okay, let's start from the natural oils or okay, okay let's start with the mineral now this uh, I used it in the beginning and uh, I used it in a pure form in a liquid state and um, this is all I have left of mineral oil and uh, I uh, blend it with wax and that what most people used to do or still do and uh, there's nothing wrong with it now the mineral oil is not drying oil it it uh, only evaporates from the uh, wood and uh, the wax actually prevents it sort of to penetrate uh, deeper um, so it does wash up quite quickly as you'll probably see um, and uh, interesting fact we'll do some test with coffee obviously why not um, it's not that I don't use it the mineral oil anymore it's just I have it uh, more of a like a, a lubrication type um, use so um, let's say when I do the rollers for the Madero therapy which have a stainless steel rod between the handles and the roller uh, section uh, I put some some of this uh, mixture and it does prevent the squeaking and uh, it just lubricates it nicely uh, so this is hard box oil so the next and uh, the most used one or the most recent used one is uh, this uh, this is what you mostly saw in my videos uh, this is from Oli Natura uh, it says boiled linseed oil but it's actually uh, not boiled in in that uh, sense uh, like with heavy metals dryers and uh, s some solvents and stuff like that so it does take a uh, longer time to dry because it's pure oil and it is uh, food cer certified oil and uh, it's actually quite nice uh, i love the smell of it and uh, uh, i quite like to use it it's really good stuff and uh, the other oil I used to use, not uh, so much now, is the tank oil. Tank oil. Um, this is from Biohel company uh, here in Slovenia, I believe, or Croatia. I'm not sure where, where its origin is, um, but it's pure tank oil now. I used to mix it with uh, lemonel or uh, citrus citrus oil or orange oil and it does um, speed up the drying process and uh, it does uh, reduce the smell of it because it does have a sort of a different smell to it in this natural state it does uh, take a while to to dry out and to lose the smell uh, but that's what I use uh, before um, now in the recent years I did a lot of experimentation with uh, Rubio Monocoat um, and it's a uh, great it's two-part oil this is a pure oil a benefit from this oils they are great uh, waterproof uh, they are scratch resistant to some extent obviously um, they are great oils uh, but they come at a great price as well uh, so uh, it's not that I don't like it the Rubio but the reason I stop using it is barely uh, purely sorry purely on a price 
uh, now I got this uh, you can buy it in these smaller batches and uh, the other thing is that you, I mean you could apply it with just the oil with, uh, without the accelerator but um, uh, it does take longer time to dry so um, you know it's always a fab to mix uh, two parts and uh, I'd like to as you know probably by now I like to uh, finish uh, the bowls especially faster uh, a recent um, product that I've been using is all this oil now it's uh, as well the sort of a hard wax oil um, not, I'm not going to into details of ingredients or stuff like that. You can look uh, for yourself um, for that thing. But uh, what I like about all this oil, it uh, does uh, all of the, all of the hard wax oils actually go uh, on tin, and you can with a small batch like this. Now I have this little jar, sample jar, for quite a while now, and uh, still have it. Uh, enough for this uh, application probably I, I would say I have enough for all of these six bowls if I wanted to finish it um, it does uh, take a longer time to dry uh, fully cure sorry for my expression uh, it is dry within um, I believe few hours and uh, you can actually touch it and uh, it's not like it's evaporating oil but you have to put it on thinly and it's best to apply with a uh, pad, white pad. Um, these are all oils that are pretty much uh, flat or matte appearance so they don't give any shine. Uh, this next uh, hard wax oil is from this same company, Oli Natura. Uh, so hard wax oil, uh, it is food safe. Uh, it has a certificate for the food uh, contact and everything. Um, it's actually quite nice product, but um, the reason I start stop using it so much on the bowls is the shine. Um, I don't like the bit of shine. Uh, I like more of a flat or matte appearance. Even a semi matte, uh, semi gloss is okay, but this has a more of a on a higher gloss uh, appearance, not a, a full like a polished look. But I believe you could uh, actually quite well uh, put like few coats of this and uh, could buff it nicely. Um, but it's nice oil, it does smell nice and uh, uh, I use it now for the other things like um, cutting boards or maybe uh, I did some uh, furniture restoration so I use it on that uh, refurbishing, uh, it's a better word so I use that on the, on the furniture so it's uh, great stuff uh, so I'm going to put only one coat of everything on the bowls. I marked, uh, signed uh, underneath with a uh, burning pen what it is, so it doesn't uh, like wash away. So mineral oil, oily, uh, hard wax oil, tongue oil, uh, linseed oil, which is this one. Uh, all this oil and uh, rubio you see the different properties of this oil and uh, for somebody who doesn't know maybe uh, with what to finish the oil uh, bowls bowls or any other turnings you do uh, this maybe be a, a good sense of direction okay so let's apply it so we'll start with the mineral oil this is mineral oil and wax so I'll leave it a little bit like this to soak in now this is linseed oil I quite like it and been using it the most so this is tongue oil It's 
more uh, syrupy type viscosity. You see the different applications of every oil and uh, what you can do with them or what to expect at least. Now this all in natura hard wax oil, uh, I quite like to use it on uh, decorative boxes as well. So it's nice to use it there. So I'll use this um, foam applicator. I mean, this is actually foam uh, sanding pad. It's 400 or something grit uh, for stainless steel. I don't have the white stuff. So this will have to do. So you try to put it on as thin as you can. And if you use a full applicator like this, usually it's a white one, which is not, uh, doesn't have any grits. You can, with a small amount of oil, this hard wax oil, you can actually coat a lot of bowls. Now some of these bowls have split, most, most of them doesn't have in, on the inside, so, so that's good, but it will sort of affect the test, but like I said, this is not who is the winner, this is just me showing how I use different oils. This accelerator, but my fancy lid because the original one broke um, didn't seal seal it well so just have to use raw oil so it just will take a longer time to dry now as the smell goes uh, i like the oldies oil the best. Um, it has that orange lemon type of smell and I quite like it. Now this pair is quite, um, how should I say this? Not, not exciting to say the least so not sure if we're going to see any of the color differences or anything and it came from the same uh, uh, square in the board so okay so let's wipe off the excess by first glance they all look pretty much the same and uh, they almost feel the same as well uh, these are all sanded uh, I believe to 240 uh, so nothing nothing major of a difference so Okay, let's, I'll bring them inside the house to warm and uh, let it dry for a few weeks and uh, by the magic of edit you'll be waiting for a full second. The whole second has passed and actually it, uh, it's uh, been 10 days since these were drying and uh, now some of these oils are recommended I believe all these like uh, 20 days I, if I remember correctly uh, Rubio is also something like 15 days or something like that um, so uh, these three are hard wax oils and uh, here I have linseed oil that I use uh, most frequently uh, mineral oil or uh, a mineral oil with uh, wax mixture 
and uh, pure tongue oil, just for reference. And uh, what I'm going to do now, this is very scientific, <laughs> and uh, um, what I'm going to do, I have a hot coffee here, and uh, just to make my life a bit easier, I took the, the smallest uh, syringe in the kitchen, so... I'm going to let this, I don't know, maybe 10-15 minutes and uh, we're going to wash them and uh, see the stains. Okay, so I'm going to... remove the coffee and I'm going to uh, wash them and we'll see what happens now this is warm water and uh, some dish soap regular stuff so you're going to as you would uh, with a regular bowl, you know, and this is just clean water. Obviously, I don't have running water <laughs> in my shop, so this sort of contraption is gotta work. Uh, now I'm going to put them like this for now, and uh, going to wipe them clean after. And uh, we'll see how they look. <clears throat> okay, so these had time to dry out. Now this is in somewhat of an order from, let's say, the worst to the best. But uh, let's go with the mineral oil. Now for me, there is not too much of a like surprise or anything like that uh, because I'm not sure if you could see this, but there is a, still a visible mark where the coffee was and uh, after one wash uh, with soap and water, uh, it's completely um, removed all of the uh, color enhancement that you get with the oil. That just uh, goes that uh, mineral oil is an evaporating oil, not drying oil. That's key difference to remember. Now, tongue oil, uh, still there is a coffee stain quite a bit here. And uh, still looks rough. This is the original color. Maybe you can see here. And this is all faded out. So not the best choice for this uh, all this oil uh, again it's not uh, there's a little bit of coffee stain maybe you could see it but um, it's a little bit rougher on a few places so that tells me that uh, the oil oil just washed away pretty quickly so there's a, there are a few spots there are um, like there is no oil at all so uh, this is my actually favorite I mean which I use the most uh, and uh, as you can see there's a coffee stain here uh, not this spot but actually, but here, no, it will be maybe hard to show it on camera. Uh, but what I'm uh, actually quite pleased, uh, and uh, I know this actually from uh, experience of using this Oli Natura um, linseed oil, is that it's not that uh, like washed out uh, look, you know. It's like, uh, it still looks like it was oiled versus where i don't know this tongue oil maybe you can see a two-tone 
perhaps a difference in color, especially on the outside. So there's something, uh, this is why I like using this uh, natural linseed oil. It says boiled linseed oil, like I said in the beginning of the video, but it's not with uh, heavy metals or stuff like that in it. It doesn't have it and uh, it's quite pure. Uh, second place <laughs> let's say like that uh, is uh, rubio now i didn't have uh, the original bottle i ran out so i just put this white uh, pigment uh, white oil uh, it looks uh, as uh, aesthetic quite uh, as it was uh, just oiled and uh, there are uh, coffee stain a little bit down here um, but it looks after wash and scrub um, it looks pretty good and it's smooth it's really smooth to the touch uh, except this part where the coffee stain is it's you, you can feel it a little bit like maybe a grade rougher and finally uh, hard wax oil uh, from Oli Natura uh, this thing is uh, for now these cracks were from default before they may be opened up after washing but um, it looks nowhere is uh, like rough now this spot does look a bit like uh, washed out but it's nice smooth it's not rough like uh, like on all this oil maybe you can hear it versus here just a little bit smoother but the inside it's just uh, there is no uh, stain from the coffee and it's just smooth as silk still so conclusion if there is any uh, for the stuff that's going to be used frequently uh, that's why I'm using the linseed oil as you saw it's really easy to apply you don't have to um, like it's really uh, simple that's what I like about this oil it's quite simple easy to use and uh, there's no fussing around with it and uh, it does its job pretty good I, I would say it's something comparable of uh, Mahoney's walnut oil it really does penetrate the wood and it's dry from the inside out and uh, it really does the job great now there are similar stuff uh, out there uh, you can write it down in the comments uh, for someone the someone else to find it um, but i really like this stuff it's not expensive it's good price it smells good and uh, i can uh, mix it with wax get a little bit more protection for the boxes and you can polish them to some of the vintage style look um, so that's what i use and what i like on utilitarian stuff the countertops and stuff like that uh, cutting boards i really like this hard wax oil from Oli natura as well i'm not sponsored by them to, to be clear I just I bought these on my own money years ago and uh, I really like them and uh, I still have this quite a bit because a little goes a long way uh, but it's I believe even uh, maybe a third of the price or maybe half maybe a little bit a little, uh, more than half the price of let's say Rubio or Odis oil the the one uh, disadvantage for me that is not maybe for you is that it's too glossy for me uh, I like like more matte style look and uh, although when you wash it it does uh, go down uh, shade but uh, for like boxes and stuff like that if I want a little bit more shine I'll use uh, hard wax oil from Oli Natura Rubio I won't probably use it anymore uh, just because of the price um, it's and the two part now you can use uh, pure oil uh, by itself but it takes longer time to dry um, but uh, uh, 
two components mixing together and uh, if you mix too much then you have to use it you can't store it and uh, it's not simple you know I like to keep stuff simple so all this uh, oil uh, I like it very much uh, it smells great it smells better than all of these together um, but maybe for me at least uh, price and performance is just a little bit and it's not it's i mean it's simple to apply but uh, using a pad uh, that white pad or a brown one or a gray one which i have um to apply it and that's it's not you know simple enough like just grab a paper towel or a rag and apply this uh, natural like uh, penetrating oil stuff um, or like this stuff like tongue oil or uh, mineral oil oil here so tongue oil like i said i would try again with uh, citrus stuff mixing and uh, that sort of recipe but uh, when i have the time more and uh, i'll probably work something out and uh, like i said if i let it dry maybe for 30 days month something like that uh, like the odis oil then maybe it will be more comparable test i don't know like I said, this is not scientific, and this is uh, mineral oil and the wax, and like I said, this is the rougher of the oil. It's just, it's like there's nothing on it, and uh, I just wash the bare wood. Uh, that's sort of the feel, and that's what I expected, and that uh, that is what I used in when I started, and uh, when I started making bowls, and uh, uh, like I said, I didn't like that look, especially after you washed it. Uh, versus where I, when I uh, make utilitarian items, I just put linseed oil pure. Uh, sometimes, if I'm in a rush, I put the wax on top. Even with the wax, it doesn't wash off uh, to this state as the mineral oil so it still does have some color in it maybe you can see it here uh, mineral oil versus linseed oil uh, from Oli Natura uh, how much this still has a color in it versus this one hopefully you get something out of it uh, out of this video um, this is just my process of these oils I really uh, try them I don't know, maybe 20 different kinds and uh, even from IKEA, their oil, their oil, um, the one which is with uh, linseed oil and tongue oil mixture, uh, it, it is okay, but it does, uh, after some time, has some weird smell to it and um, so I just stick with this after many times of elimination of other oils and stuff like that and uh, these five after i run out of these two uh all these and rubio i'll uh, left with these four and um, which i'll probably stick around and uh, keep using it and uh, if i see anything uh, that's interesting to me i'll buy it and try out the other thing that I want to mention is uh, uh, some people like to seal the bowls like uh, with shellac um, like uh, with uh, lacquer or stuff like that the early bowls movement uh, used a lot of lacquer like uh, Bob Stocksdale he used lacquer to finish his bowls and uh, to me that's <laughs> that's not a good approach now not that lacquer is bad for you it will once it's cured it's probably okay um, but uh, refinishing the process for the customer is not easy and it will flake off and uh, it's not you know the best look as it aged if used uh, so stuff like uh, oils natural oils like walnut oil from mahonis or this from Oli natura or i don't know um, from chestnut products they have similar oil stuff uh, they don't seal the wood the wood still breathes quite uh, quite uh, nicely and uh, it still can uh, 
uh, absorb moisture, release it, and uh, it acts naturally. And uh, hard wax oil, they're also quite good, but um, most of them, most brands, the, the price is too much for me at least to justify the putting on bowls, which uh, customers will probably never buy those that same oil and refinish it. So, yeah, I guess that's my conclusion to this and uh, hopefully you get something out of this oil stuff uh, that I did and uh, uh, my thoughts behind why I use mostly this one or any other oil.